everyone and welcome back to another theatre vlog. Before I actually go out to the theatre, I obviously need to book my tickets and today the lovely team at Today Tix have actually offered to pay for my tickets to go and see The Life of Galileo at the Young Vic Theatre. While I'm at home, I just wanted to quickly show you just how easy it is to book tickets on Today Tix. So on the screen now, you'll be able to see what I'm seeing on my phone. First of all, we obviously need to open up the app that always helps. If you haven't been on Todaytix for a while you'll notice the rebrand that's gone on recently and so within the app you can go straight to your lists which I find really helps keep my shows organised and The Life of Galileo are doing rush tickets. So as you can see on screen it's so easy to get rush tickets. It's a few clicks away. When you unlock access to rush tickets it sends a post to your social media and then from doing that you are able to access really cheap, amazing tickets via the app. Overall, I believe this process took only 30 seconds to a minute to complete. It is literally that easy. Hopefully this will encourage you to try out Today Ticks and book tickets via this app. They've basically got all of the West End shows on the app and a lot of them have either digital lotteries or rush tickets like the ones I've just purchased. Really, it makes buying tickets to the theatre so easy. Galileo and it's uh, it's in the round in the Young Vic which is quite fascinating because I, the last time I was here it was for once in a lifetime which was obviously not in the round so it's really confusing me in my brain to think is this actually the same space because it looks so different um, but it's really interesting so far we're in seats that are um, like bench seats so they're, they're not the worst seats I've ever sat in the theatre how do you feel about them? Fairly comfy, you're just nodding behind the camera. Um, they're fairly comfy, and it's quite nice to come out of the theatre and it still be light. The weather's been rain and sun and everything today, so it's quite nice to come out onto the balcony and enjoy some fresh London air. What else do I have to say about the show? Oh, it's really funny watching the people that are sat in the on like on the stage essentially. They're really making me laugh because um, they are essentially in the way at some points. But uh, I kind of wish we were in the stalls. They've got. Um, the sky essentially on the roof and there's lots of um, star project projections which is really fun we can see a, we can see a glimpse of it but I wish we could see the, the full effect of it um, I think that's all my thoughts for right now I can tell Leo you're shaking a little bit so <laughs> so I will chat to you afterwards bye truth is a child of the moment not of the past I have made discoveries we can no longer conceal from the world. A new age has begun. An age when it's a pleasure to be alive. Hello everyone, 
welcome back to the talky section of the video. As you would have seen, I went to see Life of Galileo at the Young Vic Theatre. It's actually my second visit to the Young Vic this year. Uh, the last time I went was to see Once in a Lifetime. That was also thanks to Todaytix. So obviously this trip uh, was gifted to me essentially by the lovely team at Todaytix. And yeah, really appreciate them supporting me and the stuff that I do. It's really appreciated. I had no idea what to expect when going into seeing The Life of Galileo and I was also really confused before seeing the show because um, thinking of how I knew the production was set, it's in the round, I was like, is it the same theatre space or do they have two? No, it's just one and they've just managed to absolutely transform it and it's unreal how they've managed to do that. It's quite nice as well because Fun Home is going to be coming to the Young Vic next year and uh, that is set in the round as well so it's kind of fun to get to see what that theatre is going to look like when a show like Fun Home comes over to London. As you would have seen in the beginning of the video I used the rush feature on Today Dicks to get our tickets for Life of Galileo and we were sat upstairs in the theatre which is where I technically sat last time as well when I saw Once in a Lifetime but obviously the whole layout of the theatre was completely different which blows my mind that you can go to a theatre for one performance and then it's just totally different the next. It's amazing. As I said, we were upstairs and I'm quite glad really because there was so much going on that it was nice to have that vantage point of looking at everything from slightly above. Uh, the only shame was that they had these amazing effects going on in the ceiling basically it was like like a dome like this and for all of the effects with like the stars the constellations and the sun and things like that we didn't get to see as much of it you could still see it but I feel like you probably got a fuller effect of that while sat in the stalls. So there are pros and cons of where we were sat. I think for any other production that didn't use the ceiling in the way that it did, upstairs would have just been absolutely fine. And as I say, we didn't miss out on those effects. It would have probably just had a bit more impact in the stalls. While the show was in the round, they only really used like the edge of the stage essentially because audience members were able to sit essentially on the stage, in the middle of the stage, which when I when we came into the theatre I was really confused, just thinking, what's going on? Like, are they part of the show? Which they ended up being part of the show. Or are they, are they just audience members? And yeah, they were just audience members. Sometimes when you have audience members on stage, they are either part of the show in some way, which I'll explain a bit more in a moment, or they are just literally sat on the stage. And I actually saw um, Our Ladies of Perpetual Sucker the day before seeing this and in that case they were just sat on the sides of the stage kind of making up um like atmosphere in a way because at some scenes they were in like bars and clubs and what have you so the audience members were like part of those scenes essentially whereas for life of galileo they were actually used in some senses one thing that stuck out to me as being really funny was there was a family of two kids that were sat kind of towards the outside of the circle and for when they started act two they got the two kids to like shout out because they announced every act or scene every scene so they got the kids to say the scene and then like the scene number which was really funny the main character galileo was played by brendan cowell who was fascinating to watch he had so much energy before the show he was like like trying to pump the audience up like by running around the circle and things like that and they were all dressed in really like casual clothing so at one point i was like are they the performers or not or like i am confused and they stayed like that throughout the whole performance so i think it was really interesting to tell a story that is as old as it is about galileo and his work and have it in a very kind of modern like a modern visual representation, is that the phrase? I don't know if I've said that right, but they were very, it was a really big contrast between like the story and the way they were showing it. I am really good with descriptions. <laughs> I have to say everything came together in a really sort of almost a magical way in terms of the design of the set and how they used it, especially in the second act. I think things just got really crazy in the second act and it was, insane to watch but not only that like the music and obviously the, the special effects like on the ceiling itself and the music I found really powerful as well at some points the bass was so is the word deep that I'm looking for that it, it 
like everything was just kind of almost shaking in a way and it really added to the drama of the moment so i really enjoyed how everything came together so perfectly the show was quite long i remember when we when we were at dinner leo asked how long is it and i said oh i don't know so he quickly looked on the app and it said like three hours including the interval and we're like oh most shows are generally like two and a half hours and then intervals is a little bit longer than some of them but I feel like it didn't feel long and you know a show is done well when it is long and doesn't really feel that long. I was really fascinated as well because as much as you know the name Galileo, I'll admit I didn't know like what he did and what he was about and I feel really like bad saying that. But this is why I love theatre and productions like this that educate you in a way that's interesting and kind of captivating for you to really take it in because I obviously in some preparation for this video I looked up like more history on it and I wouldn't have done that without this show. Life of Galileo is playing at the Young Vic Theatre until the 1st of July so you've still got a little bit of time to catch it and I would definitely recommend that you do so. Obviously you can get a bargain ticket on TodayTix and if you don't have the app already you can download it and use my code which will be on screen now to get £10 off your first order. Do let me know if you've been to see Life of Galileo and if you have please do share your thoughts in the comments because I love chatting about theatre in the comments. <laughs> I really hope if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more from me in the future i make a lot of theatre content so if you enjoy theatre hopefully you'll enjoy my videos i hope you're doing really well and i will see you very soon bye